Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurdown outside a very frustrated White Hart Lane. It finished today at Tottenham Hotspur 1, Leicester City 1. Um, not many people stopping to talk to me. I think they were quite pissed off, to be honest. How do you feel about it, mate? Yeah, I'm not too happy about that, to be honest. I mean, no winning three now. We've lost our um, grip on the top four. And, uh, and with the North London derby coming up next week, I'm, I've got to be honest, I'm a bit worried. Um, usually I try and say very positive things, but I am, I am worried. There were some, you know, we had a lot of chances. We had a lot of the possession. We hit the bar a couple of times. And obviously, Leicester City, that's a perfect game for them. That's exactly how they love to play. And every time we played them in the last couple of years, it's, it's felt that way. Mm. The real mistake was, was the Wanyama header to let them back in because they didn't really make any chances, did they? That was. And a um, few sloppy passes and, um, you know, as well as a few fouls. I mean, I sort of thought it was sort of coming, sort of like a, it would be from a mistake. But, I mean, we really got to be... Um, more observant than that. I mean, we just can't let these things happen because that's how you just let a game slip away. That's how we let two extra points slip away. And, uh, and we really just got to watch ourselves when it comes to these past things, working tackles, and just um, we, we just need to watch ourselves. And Vincent Janssen obviously got a, another goal from the penalty spot. It was a good penalty. I thought also he, he played, that was probably his best game in a Spurs shirt. It wasn't just his back to goal play today. He made himself some chances as well and uh, was very unlucky with one just past the post, not to score a second. Yeah, I mean, he did get close. He's got, I mean, you can see he's got a good eye for goal. I mean, all, all it's going to take is that first open play goal and then I think he'll get the ball rolling. But I mean, you can clearly see he holds up the ball well. He um, got a good eye for goal. He, he at least can take a penalty as well and he doesn't like miss sitters often. I mean, he does get close. He just needs that one, like when Harry Kane got that one against Man City last time and then he got the ball rolling. He just needs one from open play. And that leads me very nicely into my next question, which is, you know, looking at the last three games, the draws, West Brom, Bournemouth, now Leicester, if Harry Kane had been playing in those games, if, if Toby Alderweireld had been playing in those games, maybe getting a goal from a set piece here or there, you know, do you think we would have won possibly two or three of those games. Yeah, I think we probably would have given ourselves more of a chance to get a few more goals, would have been more clinical in the attacks and more solid in the defence. Um, but yeah, I think hopefully we can have um, at least one of them back for the North London derby, I'm hoping. Um, but yeah, I think if we had at least one of them, we probably would have been a lot stronger. Yeah. So, Is there anything to be said with, you know, arguably our best two players being out for all these games that picking up points is, you know, I know it's easy to say we didn't lose and it's five wins, five draws now, but Previous Spurs sides may have uh, had a, one of those games nicked away from them and, and we picked up a few points there where maybe previously we wouldn't have. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, I agree with that. I mean, usually losing our best players would usually see us, um, oh, crap, we're going to just lose this game. So, I mean, we are getting results, but just not the ones we want. I mean, Man City one was very impressive win, but I mean, I, I know we haven't lost, but I still think we need to start getting more results here now and then because, um, you know, otherwise we just won't get where we want to be this season. Yeah, especially with the runner games we've got coming up, uh, West Ham, uh, well, Leverkusen, uh, Arsenal, Arsenal, West Ham, Chelsea. Chelsea. Away. That's um, a bit of a, that's but, a bit challenging month. But it is a challenging month, but, but is there anything to be said? We, we actually play better against the teams that come at us. It allows us to play in our natural style on the counter. We do. Man City was a perfect example of that. But, I mean, there may be some other teams out there maybe look at us and think, yeah, Tottenham do like to come forward, so they may start building stronger walls than what Donald Trump intends. So um, that's what they may try and do, and that's um, a stop up. So what we need to try and do now is to look upon how we can get past teams that set up walls. I mean, it's all good trying to um, play against teams that play like us, yeah. but, I mean, a lot more teams will look at us and think, OK, we're we really set up walls here because Tottenham, uh, like, if we try and play in their game, we'll just lose. I mean, Bournemouth is a perfect example. I mean, last time we beat them 5-1, this time we couldn't even get a goal past them. Yeah, Bournemouth were much improved, though. I'd say I thought they were excellent last week. Yeah, they're much improved, and they also changed their tactics to um, to, um, to counter-attack what we were trying to put forward to them. But, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I agree. Teams that come at us are going to be... It would be better to play against them, but I think more and more teams will look upon us and think, actually, we can't do that against Tottenham, otherwise we'll just lose games. All right, good, uh, good stuff, mate. Let us know what you thought of his comments in the comments box below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and subscribe to Football Republic as well, another great YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter, at TV. Cheers, mate. Have a good